I am quite surprised that no one is actually talking about this. Just three days ago, the team behind Google DeepMind had just released a research paper called the Levels of AGI, Operationalizing Progress on the Path to AGI. The research is focused on stating the levels of AGI as well as the framework that classifies the steps that will be taken to achieve artificial general intelligence. Now this research by Google doesn't state when AI will achieve human-like intelligence. However, it gives you some reference as to what steps need to be taken in the path to achieve AGI, which is closer than many may think. Throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring this research paper a little bit more in depth by understanding the levels of AGI as well as how we can eventually achieve it. So stay tuned and let's get straight to it. We actually have a steady growing community on the Patreon private discord. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this because there's so much value being dropped over here in terms of AI subscriptions being given to you, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more. We're just evolving in the world of AI. So if you're interested in all that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Give World of AI on Twitter a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Google DeepMind's new research paper. Now, this is a framework that is being introduced for categorizing the capabilities as well as the behaviors of models related to AGI. Now, this framework defines levels of AGI performance through generality. You have autonomy as well as AGI performance. Now the goal is that this framework will serve similar functions as the levels used in autonomous driving, which allows for a shared terminology to compare different models, evaluating their associated risks, as well as tracking the progress towards AGI. This is a way for you to get some sort of background or a rubric to assess how AGI will move forward. Now, the development of this framework involved the analysis of existing AGI definitions as well as incorporating six key principles that are effective to AGI. And now, the development of this framework involved an analysis of existing AGI definitions that have been instilled within these six different levels. Now, these are the levels of AGI, which they have basically characterized the performance, the generality, as well as the autonomy of AGI. We can see there is six levels. Firstly, you have the level of no AI and it goes all the way down to the superhuman. Now, what this basically showcases is the underlying mechanism that separate, separately analyzes the adaptability and the performance that breaks down AGI deployment as well as stages rather than just focusing on the alternate destination of AGI. These are principles in mind that propose different levels in different categories, which showcases how the current AI systems align with this framework of AGI. Now, it also explores the demanding requirements for future benchmarks, as well as the measures of AGI models, behaviors, as well as the capabilities in various different ranges. AGI is a significant concept in the field of computer research as it refers to AI systems with capabilities that are par with or exceeding those of humans in most tasks. Now what they've done in this research paper is that they categorized it in three different fields that relates to goals, you have predictions as well as risks. Now we can start off with the goals in which it basically states that they want to have AGI so that it can achieve human-like intelligence, which is the fundamental goal in AI research. Now we can see that it can be implemented in many different fields, which can develop AI systems so that they can have transformative impact on AI. Now we can see that there is a prediction that is stated by many different sources from this actual research which is linked to predictions about AI progress. And we can see that it's particularly in terms of generality, which is approaching and surpassing human capabilities. They have this prediction that it will eventually surpass the ideas as well as the intelligence of humans as we keep on developing and evolving our systems as well as our techs. Now, there are many risks associated with this, and this is seen by some as a point where there are extreme risks which may emerge with AGI. 
Now, there are concerns that AGI systems could deceive, manipulate, accumulate resources without human intervention, and act autonomously. These are some of the fears as it could be a huge harm to society as we don't want something else taking over like the Terminator, for example. Now, these are just some of the things that they've stated in this research paper to address the complexities, which is essential in AI research. So now, what is the purpose of this research paper? Well, they want to propose this framework to classify the capabilities as well as the pathway of achieving artificial general intelligence to basically create a concept of what it truly means. And this is by understanding the different key levels. This is because they have done a lot of different case studies where there's multiple different people who are trying to define AGI. We can take a look at this in a bit, but one key thing that I want to showcase is this statement over here in the introductory paragraph where they state that however if you were to ask 100 AI experts to define what they mean by AGI you would likely get 100 related but different definitions and this basically showcases that there are multiple different defining uh, key criteria of AGI from different perspectives but what this research paper does is that it creates and proposes this framework so that it classifies the proper steps to achieving the pathway to AGI. Let's take a look at this case study, which is one of the nine prominent examples, which show and reflect the strengths and limitations. We can see the turning test is something that was a famous attempt to measure machine intelligence. Now this test involved distinguishing between human and machine generated text, which received its criticism for its limitations, mainly highlighting the gullibility of humans rather than the machine's intelligence. Now the authors basically suggested that defining AGI was based on the capabilities rather than the philosophical questions about whether a machine can think which is more practical and meaningful for evaluating AI impact. Just like this one case study, there's nine other case studies which showcases how there's many different approaches that people take in evaluating and basically setting the framework for what AGI truly is. But this research paper does a great job in proposing a framework for categorizing the abilities as well as the behaviors of AGI models and their earlier stages or precursors. This is something that aims to provide a structured approach for understanding and evaluating capabilities and behaviors of AGI systems as they progress towards human-like intelligence. Let us now take a look at the defining key principles that Google DeepMind had stated. Firstly, we had to focus on capabilities, not process. And this is where definitions of AGI should center on what an AGI system can accomplish rather than the specific mechanisms or processes it uses. Secondly, we have a focus on generality as well as performance, which are two key components as to how an AGI system operates. Thirdly, we have a focus on cognitive and metacognitive tasks, which showcases that AGI definitions should primarily consider cognitive tasks that are non-physical in nature. It also showcases that metacognitive capabilities should also be debated within AGI, such as learning new tasks or knowing when to seek classification on a certain type of topic. Fourthly, you have a focus on potential, not deployment, which is something that emphasizes on the demonstration of how a system's capability is to perform tasks at a certain level of performance, which should be sufficient to classify it as AGI. The fifth key principle is the focus on ecological validity. And this is where tasks that align to real world tasks that are valued by us humans, considering not only just economic, but also social and artistic values. The sixth key principle is the focus on the path to AGI, not a single endpoint. And this is by defining different benchmarks into different levels of AGI, which is something that we can see down below. Now, this table illustrates a structured method of classifying AI systems as they progress towards AGI based on the extent of their performance, which is the depth, and their adaptability across various tasks, which is the breadth. Now, the table includes example systems that are placed in specific categories based on the current knowledge and the descriptions available to literature or through practical interactions with deployed systems. Now, with this, we can get 
a better standardized classification of AI systems. But one thing that you want to keep in mind is that this need for benchmarks is discussed in more detail in the testing for AI AGI section. And in summary, this is basically just the table that provides a framework for like categorizing AI systems based on their depth and breadth of capabilities. In our current standpoint of this world, we are only on level one, which is the emerging tab. This is equal to or somewhat better than an unskilled human. And we can see that we have emerging AGI through ChatGPT, as well as other large language models like Llama 2. Now we can see that there are two different tabs that specify what is happening. We have the general wide range of non-physical tasks, including metacognitive abilities like learning new skills. And then you have the narrow tab, which is clearly scoped task or set of tasks now if we scroll down a little bit there's different levels that obviously we have not achieved yet but it's something that gives us different levels as to a pathway in achieving agi you have the level two which is competent we have level three which is an expert and it just keeps on going forward and forward until we get the superhuman step which outperforms 100 percent of humans now these are basic ways to showcase the path in achieving artificial intelligence sooner or later we'll be able to get through this <laughs> and there are predictions that we can get to agi by 2040 to 2050 most researchers state within that time frame but with the statement of what google DeepMind had made we can see that it's becoming more vividly closer which is absolutely insane and it's just remarkable as to how we were able to get to this point in our society the next segment of the research paper focuses for testing agi and this is a section that discusses the need for benchmarks to operationalize the definition of agi it basically outlines the importance for measuring both the performance as well as the generality of ai systems and it emphasizes the complexity and open questions that surrounds this benchmark process this section also addresses like the considerations of the types of tasks as well as the tools used in benchmarking which highlights some of the ecological validity and the inclusion of open-ended and interactive tasks in AGI benchmarks. We can then go forward, which focuses on the risk in context, which is exploring the autonomy and human AI interaction, which is showcasing the levels of AGI as a framework for risk assessment. In conclusion, guys, we analyze various different definitions of AGI through the proposed six key principles for a clear and practical AGI definition. We also took a look at the levels of AGI, which showcased uh, analysis as well as a progress towards how we can achieve AGI. This emphasizes that we're only so close, but yet so far away. We have so much things that we need to do to get to that level. We assessed some of the risks that come with AGI. Obviously, these are some of the things that are evident, but something that will definitely revolutionize the way we use AI in our day-to-day -day lives. We're currently only on level two or level one, obviously, but and we have a lot of steps left to achieving and outperforming 100% of humans. This is something that we can definitely see in our lifetime. Awesome. And that basically concludes today's video on this research paper by Google DeepMind. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, guys. It would mean the world to me if you guys can go subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.